Hey guys, Nikki here, and it's time for another episode of Nikki Show, where we learn and grow and do super cool stuff, even blow stuff up. The Nikki Show, let's go! Hey, Robs. Uh, Rob, Robbie. What? What? I'm here. I'm here. Wasn't even sleeping. What's up? Oh, never mind. Well, anyway, I always like to get a few more minutes of reading time after lights out. So today, I'm making a super cool lob lamp to keep right next to my bed. Ooh, ooh, I know this one, like this. Second grade science fair never gets old. Not that kind of lava. Here, let me show you. This is what you'll need, guys. A clear plastic bottle, water, vegetable oil, food coloring, and Alka-Seltzer. First things first, pour the water about a quarter of the way into your plastic bottle. Next, add the oil until the bottle is almost full. Uh, I think I did it right, but it doesn't look like these two are mixing too well. Yep, that's because oil is way lighter than water, so it always floats on top without mixing in. Just like my vegetables at dinner time, never like getting those too close to the other stuff. Once the oil and water are separated, you're gonna add 12 drops of food coloring into the bottle. Be sure to pick your favorite colors. The food coloring is heavy just like water, so it's gonna go right past the oil, all the way to the bottom of the bottle. I don't get it. The colors aren't moving around like they're supposed to. That's because you need gas, Robs. Not that kind of gas. Oops, sorry. To get those bubbles moving in the bottle, break your Alka Seltzer tablet into a few pieces and drop them in one by one. Wait for it. And voila! Your very own bubble lamp. Cool! How'd that happen? Well, you see, when you drop Alka Seltzer in water, it forms gas bubbles, which flow way up to the top of the bottle and tug the colorful water along with them. Ooh, ooh! And then when the gas escapes, which it likes to do, <laughs> the colorful water falls back down to the bottom? Exactly! And that's what makes the colors in your lava lamp keep moving around. It's like magic! Or science! Well, there you have it, guys, your very own lava lamp. Like our creation? Hit like below to let us know. And comment to tell us which colors you're going to use in your lava lamps. A special shout out to everyone that suggested we make a lava lamp. What a great idea. And don't forget to tell us which experiment you want to see next. Subscribe below so you don't miss a minute of the Nikki Show. Bye, guys.